Today I'm gonna to teach you every single thing you need to know about the BNB Smart Chain, formerly known as the Binance Smart Chain, not to be confused with the BNB Main Chain or Pekin Chain. Yeah, uh, there's a few Binance blockchains going on here. So I'm gonna show you how to set up your wallet, how to make decentralized trades, how to farm, how to liquidity mine, how to deal with NFTs, non-fungible tokens, and just everything else in between. The Binance Smart Chain skyrocketed to popularity as basically being Binance's version of Ethereum. But now Binance faces much more competition than they did when the BNB Smart Chain launched. My name is Vosk, you're on the Vosk on YouTube channel, and uh, well, let's get to it. The BNB Beacon Chain, or BC they call it now, is just, just a basic blockchain to put it simply. And that's where you see BEP2 tokens. But it's the BNB Smart Chain that everyone in the world is interested in, or BSC, and again, formerly called the Binance Smart Chain. This is dual chain architecture, empowers users to build their decentralized apps, digital assets on one blockchain, taking advantage of fast trading to exchange on the other. It's not really written that well, but it's basically an Ethereum clone. It's a proof of stake blockchain chain it's evm compatible ethereum virtual machine the block time is only three seconds it's supported heavily by the binance cryptocurrency exchange as well as the binance us cryptocurrency exchange and at this stage of its life many other centralized cryptocurrency exchanges which provide you a great way to turn dirty dollars and other fiat into cryptocurrencies like bnb the BNB Smart Chain is the reason why the BNB token is ranked number four. It's not just because of the Binance Exchange. BNB powers all of your transactions on this chain. And most people use this chain with the MetaMask wallet. And I'll drop every important link you need down in the video description below, like the MetaMask link. There's a couple other wallet alternatives I'll talk about here in a second, but let me just show you how quick and easy it is to set up MetaMask. So you go to metamask.io or click the link down below. And I'm gonna show you on Firefox here because I already have it all set up on my Chrome and uh, my Brave uh, browser. So you basically just say yes, yes. You click on that you create a new wallet or you can import one if you'd like to. I always say no thanks. I don't want any of my information sent out for anything. So I'll punch in a password. This is just to unlock the wallet in your own browser it's not some kind of recovery key. You can secure your wallet or basically back up secret recovery phrase later. This didn't even used to be an option to do it later. Uh, if you want to, if you're in a hurry. I'm gonna show you how this works though. So we're gonna go ahead and reveal the secret recovery phrase. So I get these words, I copy them. And really what you wanna do is put them, like they recommend, put them in a password manager, put them in your save write down and store them in multiple places that are definitely safe, secure, private. If someone takes these keys and they load it into MetaMask, they could access all your funds. These are truly the keys to your wallet. They pop quiz you on the spot, so just make sure you are prepared for that. What's really cool now is that when you go and connect your wallet to most cryptocurrency exchanges, it'll just prompt you to either move to that chain or it will input that information uh, for you and basically just make it easy. Uh, what I'm talking about now is the network in particular. So I've got all these different networks for these different chains I've used. And let me just show you how to manually add a network because it's pretty important. You'll just click on your networks tab, you click on add a network and you can input this information I have right here. You can really call it whatever you want. I, I just have it in here as BSC mainnet, RPC URL, chain ID 56, currency symbol BNB, and the block explorer I'm using is BSC scan, uh, like most other people. So now we've got our wallet set up properly, right? You're gonna use the same wallet address on all these different chains. Like for me, it's OXF6. This is the same address I can send coins to on Ethereum or on the BNB smart chain or any other blockchain that basically supports EVM where you can use your MetaMask with it. So I get this address. And now I just head over to a centralized exchange and withdraw. But let me walk you through that in a little more detail. These days it's a lot easier to just withdraw straight to the Binance smart chain, but it didn't used to be. 
And that's when the Binance wallet was really useful because you can send your BNB on the main chain and then swap it to the Binance smart chain all from within their wallet, completely decentralized, like shown. Other than using it for that function though, nobody really uses or likes the Binance wallet. It kind of just sucks to put it simply. So now we've got our wallet set up. We've got some coins in our wallet. Let's, uh, let's get into the action. We're gonna use PancakeSwap, who have supported us in this video, which is super cool, because they now have an affiliate program with their latest version. So if you do decide to interact with the BNB Smart Chain and use PancakeSwap, it would be truly appreciated if you clicked our PancakeSwap link. And it also saves you on your trading fees by using the link. So it's, it's great for both of us. PancakeSwap and their cake token is ranked 105 right now. It's the biggest decentralized exchange on the BNB smart chain. When we go over here, we go to PancakeSwap, you click in the top right and you connect your wallet, new affiliate program and so forth, right? Some of the big news with them is that they now not only support the BNB smart chain, but also Ethereum as well as Aptos. So when we go over to swap, right? And let's just say we want to grab some cake. We'll do a trade for 0.01 BNB. Nothing crazy, right? We click swap. This is the breakdown. We confirm the swap. Start flipping some cakes. Love that. You see our transaction fee is gonna be 17 cents worth of BNB. It's ideally should be cheaper, but it's still incredibly cheap compared to Ethereum, right? And uh, let's use the same exact platform. And let me just put that into perspective. Okay, so we're gonna switch over to Ethereum and we're gonna put 0.01 ETH, which we'll go 0.001 ETH, which actually puts us to a similar dollar amount, right? And that'll give us about one cake. We wanna confirm the swap. We're using the same platform, the same everything here. That same exact trade will cost you a whopping $37. It's atrocious, it's ridiculous, it's insane. Ethereum sucks, it just really does. And that's really where chains like the BNB Smart Chain become more interesting. You see how I'm switching networks and it's prompting me, and because MetaMask has gotten slightly smarter over the years and it's just kind of recognizes what I'm doing and it helps me kind of get along where I wanna go. But that's how easy it is to go ahead and trade some coin. They also have something called farms. You can add liquidity, right? And, and what, is, what does that mean? If you wanna add liquidity, you find whatever liquidity provider position you want. So let's say I just wanna earn some interest on my cake and my BNB. Let's say I have both of those, I'm long-term holding them, or I just wanna go after this 37% APR. So I'll click on this, I'll add liquidity, and then for here, I've got 10 cake in my wallet. So let's go ahead and add five cake worth of liquidity, almost 10 bucks. Then I'll input a matching amount of BNB. So I will go ahead and enable the cake. And since they're upgrade, they, so I'm just gonna click use default. There's a couple of different ways to go about this, but if I can't trust PancakeSwap with their own token, token's doomed and so, so is my position in it, right? Uh, so this is, Part of their version three. With their V3, it's much like the updated version of Uniswap. You can do so much customization with your liquidity. It's really cool. But we're just gonna keep it simple. Leave it on the default here. So we have to prove that it can spend our cake. We approve that. This smart contract or decentralized application can now interact with our coins if we confirm the transaction. Then we go to add and we have to confirm the transaction where we literally are sending our coins into their platform. At this point, the coins leave our wallet and we pretty much get a token that says, hey, you've got this with us. You can redeem that whenever you want. Uh, so you're gonna earn interest for participating. So just like that, I'm providing liquidity and earning interest on my coins. So you can provide liquidity and earn interest on that, but they have these things called farming, which is basically more heavily incentivized liquidity providing, or it's deploying your capital, earning interest on your coins, right? I took the quick route by going to the farm that I wanted to participate with, and I added some liquidity just with the quick, easy buttons. 
You can also click add liquidity here and do pretty much this or exactly the same thing. And it estimates our earn half a percent interest there. It's because I'm, I'm competing with their farm and it's incentivized and so forth and without going into all the dirty details of that stuff. So I've got my liquidity position now. And so now I just take the LP and I stake it. So I'll go ahead and stake my LP token and they'll give me an NFT that represents my liquidity. And now I've staked my one LP that's gone from available to staked. And now I'm in the farm earning the projected interest here. And just like that, I'm earning 37% interest on my coins. Obviously not financial advice, your mileage may vary on all this stuff, but that's how you can participate. If you're into NFTs, they have an NFT marketplace. There's a lot of different ways you can go about NFTs, but they have collections listed on the NFT marketplace on PancakeSwap. Everybody's been talking about Pepe, not this NFT collection, but the meme coin token. So let's say you wanted to buy one of these monstrosities. How about this guy? So you come over here, you click buy, and you can just go straight to checkout. And then you would confirm the transaction in your wallet. So it prompts it here and I click confirm and bam, just like that, I buy this NFT and I will have possession of that. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I don't want this NFT, but that's how you buy an NFT. To round out PancakeSwap in their new V3 version though, is they've got up to 25X lower trading fees for traders compared to their V2 versions. They have many times more fee earnings Liquidity providers, like the LP thing we talked about, they're earning higher fees, more interest, it's just a better setup, up to 4,000 times higher capital efficiency, a VIP trading rewards program, and a position manager feature. Capital efficiency is a real thing, and it's just really better for everyone. There's also different uh, fee trading tiers, uh, as opposed to V2, which always had a quarter percent tacked on, but they can be as low as 0.01% which is great because it can save you money. If it's an exotic pair, it could end up with a 1% trading fee, so that would actually be the opposite. PancakeSwap has TVL of over $2 billion. When we look at their volume across different chains, we can see that they're still absolutely dominated by the first chain that they deployed on and where they really garnered all of their success and users, BSC, the Binance Smart Chain. But they did deploy on Ethereum in 2022, and they've gone from $2 million of volume in the first month to $80 million last month and $142 million a couple months ago. Their V3 is quickly gaining traction. The red in this chart shows that the V3 is starting to have a significant share of volume. This is something that just, it takes a bit. People are used to using the AMM or the V2 version is really what it is. And we'll see different pairs switching over because it's just a better setup. But some will have lock liquidity uh, so they actually won't be able to do that, unfortunately. If we look at the Binance Smart Chain as a whole here, you can see that the TVL or total value locked right now is over $4 billion. The main dApps on this chain are PancakeSwap and then several others. Most of these projects have cross-chain support now as well, but PancakeSwap commands two billion or almost half of the value locked up in this entire blockchain. I think the scary part though for the Binance Smart Chain is the simple fact that Arbitrum exists. They are big, they are hungry, they're growing, their fees are cheaper, the chain is faster, and when you look at this chart, I mean, it's looking good, it's looking healthy. BSC has established, you know, a very serious market share, but it's kind of flatlined. But they're not the only ones in that position. Ethereum, for example, has pretty much flatlined right now in these market conditions as well. But with the right incentives, ecosystem, and transaction fees and speeds, well, some chains are still flourishing. It's pretty interesting. If you wanna learn more about Arbitrum, check out some of our video guides we already have on the channel on that. To crunch a little bit more data as we close out this video, we look at the daily transactions it's consistent, it's healthy, it's not really growing, but it's not just fading away. Same thing for the BEP20. BEP20 is a token that lives on the BNB smart chain. It's basically the Binance clone of an ERC20, which is an Ethereum token. We look at the unique addresses though. The unique addresses 
has actually been going up pretty substantially recently. That is the biggest jump in a very long time. So is this actually the calm before the storm? I think that, especially with the increase in this whole meme coin craze, is that the BNB smart chain could really shine there. The BNB smart chain was actually home to so many of the hot meme coins, if not all of them, in the previous crypto bull run. But some of their competitors did not yet exist. We look at the active BNB smart chain addresses. It's looking pretty good comparatively and not too far from an all time high. We look at the active BEP20, again, slowly growing, establish that good baseline. When it comes to using the Binance Smart Chain, it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Never interact with any decentralized application, smart contracts that you don't know, you're not familiar with, you saw an ad form somewhere. There's so many scams that will just look to basically liquidate your wallet. Join the Bosscoin Discord server and ask people in there, hey, is this the right site for whatever app? Is this place safe to use? People will tell you. If you're out there exploring on your own, look for audits. Look for some validity. If you're not a Discord user, head over to the Voscoin Talk forum and post a thread. Myself and others will chime in. The last thing I want to see you do is get blown up because you go to the wrong place, you click the wrong link or whatever. It's why I always link out all the critical things I'm talking about in these videos down in the video description below. This is a crash course on the basics of using this. It's just kind of really this simple. I'm a hands-on learner, you may be too. Get in there and just put a little amount of BNB in your wallet and go transact on chain. It's not terribly expensive to use. For 10 bucks, you could learn everything you'd ever want to learn on that blockchain. For 10 bucks, you can't even do one single thing on Ethereum. My name is Vosk, you're on the Vosk on YouTube channel, home to the CTO, the Chief Trading Officer at Bosscoin. That's gonna be Tails, the cutest pup in the entire world ever. No disrespect to your dog. I'm sure they're cute too, but come on. Have you seen Tails? Thanks for watching. We do 10 seconds of Tails on every video. I will see you on the next one.